Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 31 of our Prussia to Germany Let's Play for an Early Reich Achievement. Today, of course, we'll have to finish our war with Norway and Denmark and then I guess just suffer a really long, or maybe long, I don't know, truce with them until we can finally fight them the way I wanted to, which unfortunately we didn't really get to do, which kind of, kind of sucks, honestly. But anyway, other than that, I mean, we can't really do much conquesting. Um, well, I mean, there isn't a coalition still. I mean, I mean, technically, we're still not at the point where a coalition will form. So, I mean, technically, I guess we could we could do a little more conquesting. I really do. I really do hope that that's not too loud. For some reason, the, those clinks of ducats just struck my eardrums with lightning, and I don't know why. That was weird. Anywho. Um, do I want to take this right now? It's a lot of money. Oh, that is a lot of money. I feel like it'd be better suited for when many factories come into play. Um, and then when many factories come into play, I'm eventually going to have to fix it anyway. I'm eventually going to have to, well, you know, um, what you call it? Pay it off at some point, and I think that would be the best time. Especially because I believe, yeah, you get goods produced modifier. And then you use that in tandem with the uh, production efficiency, and then you just you just make tons of money. I mean, we're already making tons of money. Let's let's not you know think two ways about it. But um, I mean, we can always make more money. That's always an idea. We do need more money to fund a larger army, a larger army which will come from eventually after economic. Um, be our next idea group, so we can have ourselves quantity with economic. With quality, giving us high like ability to battle things, as well as a massive pool of manpower and a very massive army to field, which will be nice. That's that's the dream. That's the goal right there. Um, of course, it'd be a lot easier if we could do something about the pesky HRE still living uh, and all that annoying stuff. I am still kind of cautious. I'm wondering how much AE I can really get here. I'm still trying to push it as hard as I can. See what the limits, what I'm allowed to do, actually include. That'll be interesting. Oh, wait, are they? Uh, I'm kind of curious now. I doubt they'd give that to me. Like, I doubt they'd actually give it to me. But now I am intrigued, because if they're feeling generous, then, well, I wouldn't turn down getting a uh, single thing over there. Oh, do I want to pay for this? I I feel like I might as well. I mean, it's it's... The equivalent of, I'd say, 250 military points. It's still a lot of money, but... We still make more... Uh, like, if you think about it technically, the amount of money is, like, less than... New, like, the amount of time it takes to make that much money is less than the time it, it takes to make that much military power. Um, and we just have a bunch of money anyway, so... I feel like that was fine. That didn't really impact us too much. We can't really build any, any buildings still, which sucks, but whatever. Now, Manufactories is actually quite likely to uh, develop in in Berlin, maybe. Um, I don't know. Possibility. Let's uh, deal with Halic over here, which would be a little bit upset. Why are you upset? I don't know, but um, not worth that much to me, so... Mm, I feel like I should stop coring things for the meantime. Why am I on Diplo? Oh, right, I was on Diplo because I was uh, annexing Lithuania. And now that Lithuania is gone, we have to wait another... Oh, God, that's a disgusting amount of time. Uh, another six years until we can uh, swap over to the preferred admin. Speaking of which, I haven't been taking these, and I feel like a fool for not doing this. Especially when it's so crucially important take all of these. Do I want a general from here? I don't think so. I mean, our tradition's fantastic. I think I'd prefer to give them some land. A very, very small amount of land. I was thinking... Something with grain or livestock. Oh, grain right here. Beautiful. And then livestock works just as fine. Um, I have the feeling that was going to be a... Yeah, that was going to be a trade thing because it's such high dev. 
So, uh, right. We need grain or livestock. Go with livestock right here. And let's go with one more livestock over here, I guess. And then we'll get the minister, which is 15, and then we'll take the, uh, the points, which will bring us up to about 900-ish. 899, of course. And then we'll figure out what to do with that later. Um, in fact, I think I'll just spend it on generals, which, of course, is the most annoying sound in the world. So, I guess you'll have to cover your ears in a brief moment when we're about to cap. Because it will be annoying. Just, just putting that out there. It will be rather annoying. Oh, I don't have a claim here. I actually didn't even notice that. Okay, let's get a claim on Bohemia. I, I feel like I should attack them. Because why not? Uh, Miltech cost. Ooh, okay. How long is that, actually? That is a total of 10 years. Unfortunately, this actually expires in 11 years, meaning I'll probably forget to do that. Um, and I was thinking of expanding my navy anyway, I think. So, we might as well accept that offer. So let's beef up the number of, um, I think galleys would be nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have some galleons over here. Uh, war galleons. One, two, three, four. Let's get the fifth one over here, actually. Just so we can have everything on the same side of the, uh, of the canal that doesn't exist yet. Alrighty, well the cores are more or less done. We have a bit of separatism in this area. Uh, I should have been dealing with that, but I wasn't, so darn. That's a free 10 years right over there. Oh boy. Uh, lose money for gain influence and loyalty. The burgers are at what kind of influence? Nothing too dangerous. Oh, I cannot fight those peasants. I, I absolutely cannot fight those peasants. I'll pay the, I'll pay the price. We have a lot of money. It does the same thing. We'll just pay the price. We also have an extra merchant to look at here. Um, I think that would be best used in Krakow. Or maybe it's... Yeah, Krakow, I think, is how it's pronounced. Maybe. Okay, I think, yeah, it's the best place. Because this will... It'll partially move towards Saxony. Like, it's moving in all three directions evenly. That's why you're seeing the, uh, the 413 here. It's because it's being spread pretty evenly across the three. So they're using my power for that, but we can really, really, really easily change that um, by doing this. So it'll focus it all along either here or here. It doesn't matter either way. Actually, no, it does matter. I'd much prefer if it goes down uh, this way because we get merchant chain bonuses. Uh, basically, we get slightly more power in Saxony if we could do if we like chain a merchant and then another merchant and then goes in. You know, instead of just merchant into here, no merchant and then in. So I don't know. Slightly worth more, I believe. Anyways, we have a good chunk, extra bit of uh, money here that we can use for something. Hmm. What do I want? Improved relations is always a good option, actually. That does improve our diplomatic situation considerably um, due to its effects on aggressive expansion. In fact, Poland has no aggressive expansion opinion of me. I. Oh, hold on, that's because Poland didn't exist until 10 seconds ago. Of course, obviously. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, yeah, Poland just came back into existence. Because I guess uh, Hungary didn't manage their things very well. Speaking of Hungary things, we... This is just disgusting. I want to get rid of these. The only problem is Austria, who seems to stand in the way of a lot of my progress for being an ally. Really annoying. Yeah, Poland is definitely next. Um, I have to, like, hit a sticky note in the back of my mind or something. I have to hit this button as I'm about to annex Poland. I have to do it, because if I don't, then I'm a fool, and I don't deserve to be playing this game or something. I don't know. This time. This time, I swear I have to remember it. Oh, that's really awkward. I never expected you guys to rise up. And that's only because I wasn't paying attention up here, but I digress. Uh, how strong does Poland seem? Not very much. I only need the one army. 
They are allied to Frankfurt though, which, uh, do they, they don't really border me. Uh, we're also, of course, Kaplan Mill. That's fun. Let's go and spam out generals to uh, make your ears burst. That's always my favorite thing to do. Okay, cool. We have tons of generals here. Let's start by getting rid of all the trash ones. So the ones that have four pips or less on every category. Um... Hmm, you guys are, okay, listen, listen, these guys are absolutely fantastic. You guys are the most solid generals I think I've seen ever. You, Gottfried Schach, are absolutely amazing. In fact, you're so good, you made a duplicate of yourself um, using that ancient technology of, you know, cloning. So, actually, you got three of you. Whoa, that's, that is crazy. Um, got three guys who are, two of which are equally good with the same name. So we have this Gottfried Schach, or we have this Gottfried Schach, or we have this Gottfried Schach. Well, I guess we'll give him that Gottfried Schach. <laughs> sure. Now you are a 4661. Okay, you're this guy. But we also have a 5554, which is even better. Now you are a 4532, and you are a 4462. So you are the, um, yeah, you're the... Four, 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 five, three, two. Okay, sorry, sorry. You're this guy. Which would definitely be outclassed by this guy. Ah, there's a six, six, five, two here. Oh, he's so good. God damn. Okay, all of our generals are brilliant. Okay, so we have a, a four, four, six, two here. So we're looking for anything higher than a five. Okay, so. The maneuver isn't as important. I really do like the siege. That siege is fantastic. Okay, so we've updated our generals. Um, Scott, it really hurts me to get rid of that guy. It hurts me to get rid of both of these guys because they're so good, but like... Everyone we've selected is just superior. Yeah. I am still wondering about this guy, because that's a 6543, the 6434. Um, basically, this guy has more pips, but the one extra pip in the siege might actually just be worth more. At least in my humble opinion, I don't know. You guys let me know if I just made the worst possible, I don't know, mistake of my entire life or something. I don't know, but um, anywho. This army is going to head down here just in case Frankfurt gets a little, I don't know, extra. And then of course we'll do cleansing of superior uh, sorry, cleansing of superiority makes no sense. Show of superiority and the um cleansing of heresy. Right there. And this guy, he moves extra speedy, so we should be able to catch him. No, you guys have a oh wow, you guys are trying to challenge me to the three-star general battle. Really? Well you do move faster because you have less people, which kinda sucks, but. I won't let you go around and just be annoying. In fact, I am going to like chase you guys down until you have zero manpower to build guys with. Um, that's not really much to talk about, but... I don't know if you'll escape. You will, okay. Okay, hopefully that's not too loud. And uh, we'll take this one last guy down. Wow, they are building a lot, and I mean a lot of mercs right now. God, you guys have built so many mercs already. You only have 3,000 men and four of those are mercenaries? Tell me how that works. Tell me how that works. Please, I beg of you. I implore myself to know this information. That's not how you use the word implore, by the way. But in case you were wondering, I'm still really interested to know. Now, did I get anything else out of this? I did not because Sweden is not very nice. Oh, Sweden, you didn't dare. You took the one thing I needed in this life. The one thing I needed in this entire lifetime was a border with Norway. And you, you took that from me. It's gone. You took, oh my god, you took the one thing I needed. Sweden, how dare you? Ah, oh boy. 
Sweden, I can't believe you've done this. Uh, I, I can't believe you've done this. My day is ruined. Absolutely ruined. After all the effort I went through down here, you have ruined my day. Can't believe you've done this. Sweden's the first to die when I turn on all my allies. I'm telling you right now, I'm killing Sweden first. Because that was just rude. The one thing I needed in this entire lifetime was that one, one little thing right there. And now it's gone, which sucks. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have a guy for that, but we can put you on slightly damaged. We have a couple of ships still being built for actual fleet. Our siege ability is disgusting for 1638. So we should be able to siege this. I'd give it... I'd give it three months. Did you guys swap again? Oh, wow, you're kidding. You guys actually did swap again. Oh, you mad lads. Swapping religion like every three years, you weirdos. Wow, my army maintenance is bad. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get rid of these guys. Um, Frankfurt is not very much fun to burn down. How much time? A hundred, uh, not a hundred, ten years? Sure, we'll at least assault that fort to make that go faster. This is done, and we'll try and get rid of uh, Frankfurt. Oh, there goes Poland. Didn't even mean for that to happen, that's just a happy coincidence. Uh, the next one, boom, there you go. Get rid of that. Production efficiency decrease, because that's fun. Okay, so we won the Siege of Frankfurt as well. That should be an easy, I don't know, 25 ducats we're going to get, because... I don't know, I can't really complain about that still. That was a change made, like, I don't know, two years ago or something. Or like a year and a half. There's no point in still complaining about that. It's just part of the game now. Okay, well, we have a couple of boats over here. These three can head over here. Wait one day for this. I don't think I can full annex. No, I can't. Um, I'm pretty much just playing with fire and just having a fun old time doing it. Because at this point... Not much else I can do. We'll take this. It'll be a bit of a... That's actually a lot of overextension. Whoa. Hmm. That would be a lot of overextension. Oh well, we'll just take this. And to keep them isolated for myself. Capped on Diplo, I don't know how long that's been, meaning I could be wasting Diplo and not even realized. Why am I still annexing nations? It only occurred to me just now. I think about 5-10 minutes ago I said I should stop annexing nations because I'm behind on deck. And here I go, annexing more nations. God, why am I like this? Why do I do this? <laughs> okay, no more. No, no more of that. And you know what? You know what? Oh no, I'm a, I'm a buffoon times two. Ah, uh, I'm suffering right now. I'm suffering right now because I'm not going to alt F4. I'm not going to do it because that's not something you're supposed to do. <clears throat> On this place. That's suffering. That's sad. Uh, that's an absolute tragedy right there. Okay. So next time, I'm, I'm going to write an actual sticky note. I mean like a literal one. I will get a piece of paper and I will stick it on my monitor. I will actually put it over the little icon in the bottom right here. So that when I see it, when we're at war, I will see that icon. I will be like, oh right, I need to hit that button before I make any sort of peace. Or else I'll be, you know, a fool times three. They say third time's the charm. Hopefully that's the case. But that's not how remembering things works. That's just to make me feel better about feeling the first two times to do it right. God, I'm, a, I'm an actual idiot. Wow. Uh, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's not like it's the most crucial thing on the planet. It's just like, I... I wanted to do it a little better. <laughs> I wanted to do it right this time, but darn. I'll spam a whole bunch of mercantilism because we have a couple of years left and nothing else to spend our points on. Might as well take this. No more states, no more anything. We're just going to sit on what we have for a little while. Who knows, we might even get a coalition to sort of dissuade us from what we're doing. I doubt it, but who knows. Uh, ooh, that's a half cost level 3. I think I'll take that. Half cost level 3. Um, that is a... I believe that is a woman named Wilhelm. 
Okay. Not gonna question that. Just, okay. Also take that money, because money's nice. And we're gonna sit here, and we're gonna do absolutely zero conquering for the rest of this episode. Not sure how long that'll be, but at least for the rest of this episode. And I'm gonna try and remind myself when I wake up tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow's episode either, because... God, yeah. Yeah, that's been fun. Okay, so we still have a couple of... I'm still gonna get these claims, of course. Just one, maybe two. Give me another month and I can grab the second. Perhaps. Okay, a little bit of separatism here. A little separatism never killed anyone. Well, I mean, it kind of really did, but... Forget about that. A little bit of separatism never ruined my country, at least. Not up, not up to this point. Alright, great. You guys sit here. And keep minding other people's business while you're at it. Uh, I think I'm going to swap over from War to Stab now. Just to help a little bit with the unrest. We do have a lot of it. Kind of reasonable. Um, because our overextension is still kind of massive. Oh, disloyal printers. I didn't even realize we had that. Where is that and where does that go? One more year of that? Okay, not a problem. I can I can live for another year of that. Well, alright then. Alrighty then. Let's do the time check to see where we're at. Hopefully we're not over any sort of time limit. Currently we're at 22 minutes. Not a problem. Okay. No more conquesting for the rest of today. Maybe not for tomorrow either. I really do want to swap over uh, our focus so we can just charge down economic and catch up in this and we can do more conquesting. I thought at the time maybe Diplo would be great. We overshot it a little. Not a problem. You know, maybe I'll just keep that into account for the future. But whatever. Uh, let's try and get France to like us more. <gasps> France, you're reformed now. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, France. Nice. Uh, I don't like how your noble rebels are still there, though. Is there a way we can fix that? Can we can, can we help you, France? For not really. We really can't help France. France has to help themselves, but they can't if they're down here. We can't allow them to break the country. If they break the country, then that breaks the PU. So let's keep an eye on that. We'll, let's put a plan in motion for solving that before it becomes a problem. Uh, but we don't happen to have any transports, do we? Because we've always thought them absolute. Uh, absolute? Did I say absolute? Obsolete. I never built any because I always thought we'd never have to. Uh, to some degree, that's kind of true, actually. Let's ask Savoy, our good ally, for a little bit of military access. France should be right along their way to go and defend this personal union. Alright, a couple more conversions, beautiful. Um, I think it's also technically possible to enforce our culture on France. <laughs> that would be interesting. Change the primary culture of a lesser union partner to ours. Change France to Prussian. Oh, that is cursed. That is so cursed, but uh, it would be so much fun. That'd be probably one of the better memes I would do for this series, so just force culture on France to make the most cursed thing ever. Prussian France. Oh, God. They'd have to convert the whole thing or die. Or just accept France. You know, that's probably the better option they'd do. Except the uh, the French subcultures here. Breton, Norman, Francien, Gascon, Occitane. Actually, those are the English words. I don't know why I said those in a French accent. Anyways. Okay. Somehow we're still alive here. Is it possible? Are we finally at the, uh, the part where aggressive expansion is just a number? Have we really reached the peak of EU4 memedom? Where we can actually call this a success? The AE is actually just a number at this point. Also high fervor, so we'll slap on some trade real quick. Hans Bachken, Separatists. Can we get down there? We can, but not in a very fun way. You see, that's why I keep wanting to invade Würzburg. 
but they never seem to be in a good place for us to do that. Because now this is just awkward. We just have to go all the way around, and that's that's just kind of weird, but... Oh well, I guess you guys, congratulations, you get 10 years of separatism. An extra 5. 50 admin, or... No, let's go with the autonomy. I don't care where that is, we need the autonomy. Or, uh, we need the admin more than the autonomy matters to us. We also have some extra... Extra military, as I see once again. Hmm... Where do I get here? Refilling garrison? That's useless. Uh, but I do get a little bit more damage. Siege ability is the big one. The one I care about is the siege ability. At the end, you do get a, uh, a grand total of, I believe, around 20%. 20% is, well, that's 20% of 30, of course. So if you want to do that math, which I'm not very good at. Um... I'm going to say that is around, what, six days, maybe six days off of a siege per tick or per, per siege timer, which is kind of good. Okay. On top of what we have, it's all right. I mean, on top of what we have, it'd be broken now that I think about it. I do indeed enjoy a couple of eight day sieges, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so our Grand uh, Armada over here. Does this count as a Grand Armada? A Grand Fleet? It does. We just never, never did any of these. Global Dominance, really? Strongest Trade Power in Lubeck, which is the highest power in the entire world. The highest node in the entire world. Damn, okay. Trade Efficiency plus 15% and a lot of Prestige. Hmm. A lot of prestige. We can't spend that on much other than... Oh, let's say let's placate, but we can't placate... Uh, wait. Of course you can't placate your personal union partner. Of course you can't do that. That makes no sense. Placating means to sort of bestow grace upon the leader of your subject, but um, the leader of our subject is ourselves, so it doesn't work like that. Instead, we can just tank the prestige and then be kind of sad because it's going to waste... But we do get a lot of money out of it. I mean, like, a lot of money out of it. Okay, I think I'm going to write, like, a small list of things to consider for the next episode. Because I think we're out of time for today's episode anyway. So, of things to consider. It's, like, no more conquest for maybe next episode. Uh, we'll see how it goes, obviously. Anyways, this is Corbett signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day.